sorry I'm late, Mr. Arthur. I couldn't get it into gear this morning. Your scooter or your brain? Oh, never mind. Get along, lad, get along. Right. Finger out of your nose, boy, and get stuck one bit. Morning, Lily. Gordon, come on, you must know what to do. You're a father. <laughs> right, children! Hello. If you'll all be so very kind as to just sort of settle down. <laughs> Bit of discipline, I think that's what we need. Quite right. Attention! Two lines, if you please. One here, one here. Carry on, sister. Excuse me. Do you know that lad who rides a scooter? His name's Alan. What's yours? Polly Cruikshank. Uh, sister, I think the best thing is if you just show them through to our consultancy room. I'm sure the mothers and teachers will, will help. Good. Is it just me, or am I getting some strange looks? Dr. Goodwin, could I have a word, please? What's going on? There's been an outbreak of tuberculosis. The children were at risk. I should have been told. I'm sorry, Matron, but we thought you oh, should... Well, you might as well get on with it. I'm obviously not needed. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, don't move a muscle. Ready when you are, Doctor. Thank you. Georgie? It's not your clinic today. Um, I... No. All right, uh, come with me. Just a minute. Now, don't move, any of you. Lad, I'll see you tomorrow. You can go back to reception. Right, who's next? Come on in then, there's nothing to be worried about. Are you the one who gets the nurses into trouble? Um, excuse me, you shouldn't be saying things like that. That's what Sister Bridget said when I told her all my ear, because Miss Jenkins spits in a semolina. I was right about that as well. Honestly, you're so sensitive. <laughs> Mrs Jenkins. <laughs> Oh, straight through, that's the idea. Come on. Morning, Alan. Right. Morning, children. <clears throat> now, tell me, who was itching last night? Well, I hope that isn't accurate. Um, it's unlikely. Right, come on, come on, settle down. It's a hospital, not a playground. Morning, sister. Is uh, Matron in today? Straight through to her office, not a word to anyone. She's not herself, Ken. She's not. Come on now. Arms by your sides. Line up. That's it. Because you flooded it. My granddad's a mechanic. And if you need to know about engines, it's worth knowing. Oh, yeah. You take after him, do you? I'm not supposed to, though. My dad is always saying that his daft old man should be encouraged and that I should use my brains to get good education. Just so I can better myself just like he has. Is that right? Yeah. Well, it shouldn't be a problem. I'm quite clever, you know. Just not very well. What, you mean the TB? Well, I don't know about that yet. No, I've got an atrial septal defect. It's a hole in my heart. Oh, I'm sorry. It's all right. You just go out of breath sometimes and you can't really do anything too strenuous, so I can have that for you. So I can't really play games either, but maybe that's why the other kids don't like me. Oh, I'm sure that's not true. Well, they like me to mess around. I see. Is that why you were nasty to Mrs Jenkins before? 
Well, it means they can have some fun, but I'm the one who always gets into trouble for it. Well, that doesn't sound very clever. It's not very nice, either. Right, let's try it again. Let's rattle this time, though. You're a genius. I know. So I can never go. I'll sit on the back. Uh, I think you're a bit young for that. OK, then. When I'm 16, I'll tell you how many days away that is. Holly Krilchank, the doctor's waste. Why all this fuss because of Mrs Jenkins? She smells, you know. It's on a pig farm. It's a dairy farm, I believe. Cows. She still smells, though. You're infectious and you need to be isolated. And your mum's agreed she'll be here as soon as she can. Oh, this is so unfair. It's for your own good. And so are these antibiotics. I'm not swallowing them. It's all your fault. I hate you. Hold your tongue, Polly. Polly. Holly. Hey. Are you all right? Does it matter? Why don't you come back inside with me? You don't want to make yourself really ill now, do you? I mean, who wins then? Come on. Goodwin, she needs help. Uh, 1,348 days. I worked it out after I saw your date of birth on your notes. You only missed one out. You forgot the leap year. <sighs> Never mind. We all make mistakes. Yeah, and you've made a few. Look, people do care about you, you know. But you don't make it easy when you're nasty to them. You ever think about it? things I said. Thanks, love. I needed that. 